So mechatronics is basically called as a multidisciplinary because if you want to design a mechatronic systems, you should have the information or knowledge about the mechanical systems because that is what we are trying to improve or the, whose performance we are trying to improve. We cannot improve by using purely mechanical means because controlling of all mechanical systems is very difficult and the signal processing in mechanical also is not very convenient. So we are incorporating some electrical and electronic components to improve the performance of the mechanical system. So you are having some electrical system. So if you want to have mechatronics, you should have knowledge about mechanical and you should have knowledge about the electrical. Now simply using electrical may not be sufficient. If you want to control electrical systems, then you should have some advanced uh, logic and other things you want to apply. Then you have to have some software programming. So there you require information about the various computer systems. Then if you are having computer systems, you are having electronic systems. In electronics, you are having several sensors and other actuators. So a lot of signals are generated. You want to handle all those signals and other things. You have to handle them in an efficient manner. So you should also have knowledge about the information systems. So unless you are having knowledge about all these things, you cannot go for a designing of a mechatronic system. Mechatronics as a subject or mechatronic devices have evolved over a period of time. So it is by generation by generation, we will say that initially you are having the primary level of mechatronics. So there you are using some kind of electronic parts to operate the mechanical devices. So we can say that you are having a valve. So valve you are putting some solenoid and you are using some electric power to operate that particular valve. So if you want to see in the modern sense, you are having some, if you put your hand, water is going to come from a tap. So that is the simplest case of the mechatron. So that is where you are using some electric power, you are using some sensor information and you are controlling a mechanical device. In that case, in the tap, it is a simple valve. So valve will open, water is going to come out. You are removing the hand, valve is going to close the water will stop. Or you can have relay switches. Relay switches operates by taking a electrical signal as an input and it is going to switch on or switch off the some other circuit. So that is also possible. So these are some of the in initial examples of the usage of the mechatronics. So the next level of mechatronics is you are having some more complex circuitry where you are processing the signals and you are generating the output. So examples can be cathode players or you can have the semi-automatic washing machines. So in the semi-automatic washing machines, you can see what happens is you want to do the spinning or you want to put the clothes in it and you want to do the spin or you want to do the drying. So what you will do is you will rotate a knob. You will say that five minutes you do the drying activity. So the drum will rotate at very high speed, removing all the water from the clothes or if you are giving spinning, then it will continuously rotate in one direction or the other direction, trying to clean the clothes. So here it is not completely automatic, a lot of manual intervention is there, but you are increasing the uh, performance of the uh, given uh, system. The next one is the tertiary level of mechatronics. In tertiary level of mechatronics, what you are having is you are having the microprocessors, you are having transistors, you are having much better computational capabilities you are having lot of memory in the uh, system. So because of which you can perform very complex uh, jobs. So examples can be microprocessor based robots. You can also say examples are CNC machines. So you are having lot of uh, electronic components. You are having input and output devices. You are having some screen through which you can see several things, what is happening. You can uh, press some buttons and you can control the machine in a required fashion. You can change the program. So a lot of uh, functionality is improved. So main thing is you are having a lot of microprocessors in the given system which are performing some specialized tasks to improve the overall performance of the uh, system. The next one is the quaternary level of mech mechatronics. In this one, you are using advanced control. Maybe you are using artificial intelligence or you are using artificial neural networks. You are using fuzzy logic. All these modern uh, control technologies you are using control the output of the given uh, system. So you can say quaternary level mechatronics, if you want to say, we can say it is like an iPod. The working of the cassette player and the output of the iPod is more or less the same. 
both are going to give the output as music so you can hear some music you can see in my traditional cassette player you are having some motors they have to operate continuously and uh, as it is running the tape is moving you are uh, reading what is the magnetic uh, impression present on the tape you are doing some conversion and you are generating the mechanical signal now inside now as the mechatronics technology has progressed more and more you are completely removing all the mechanical parts you are getting only a purely electronic component so that is the advancement we can say that of the mechatronics technology or we are going for the completely uh, electronics uh, part removing the mechanical elements if you take the example of the modern automobile that is also we can say that it is quaternary level of mechatronics in the initial we can say that you are having some uh, simple electrical devices maybe you are having a button to raise and close the doors that may be possible maybe in the next stage in the tertiary you are having some central central locking and other things nowadays we are having if the door is on open you are having blinking or the engine will not start so this is the evolution of the mechatronics in different areas so different areas the mechatronic systems have progressed in uh, different manner so in the quaternary level we say that there is lot of computations lot of advancement in the given um, product and its features are also very very good 